Right, so here are the shoes. This is the 903 S Fire, the new model, which I bought. And also got some for my wife. And these are the older 902 model. But to be honest, the differences are extremely small. The boas appear to be the same. Um, the All the kind of the guides and everything like these are the same. The, there's a couple of small differences like the perforations here the way it's laced around here is a little bit different and now it runs through two things like this and then there was a little plastic thing before there um, if you look at the soles they appear to be pretty much identical there's not a lot of difference there and the toe bumper um, is the same so you know these were a uh, low 200s euros in the sale and these were low 300s so really i mean um yeah there's a little bit of difference in the material they're using here this actually looks a bit softer maybe it was wearing more and they've changed it for a slightly a slightly tougher version like this but you know if, if you can save 100 euros i think i'd probably do that next time because there's there's no great uh, advance going on here you know you can see you know spot the difference there isn't any really um, and so you know I've now um, been riding these for over a month and what's good is that it's given me the chance to kind of uh, have a bit of a long-term review on these and a bit of bit of long-term feedback because it's easy to jump in them first ride and say oh yeah they feel great but it's when riding for more than two hours that these were although good at first were starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable and I was getting hot spots down the side here and are kind of around the toes which is strange because these are actually uh, the wide these are 41 wide uh, these are 38 normal um, so it seems strange I mean I don't think I've got especially wide feet but it feels like there's not enough room around this this area here um, and I was getting the same problem on, on the S-Works actually, that's why I changed, because I was just trying to find the best comfort of all for three hour plus rides. And I thought it was a little bit the heat and everything, but I was in, even in the winter I was getting some. So this is just an attempt to find that extra bit of comfort. And actually what I did was I tried to ride them without the, the insoles in to see if that would make much of a difference. And it does give you more wiggle room because these insoles, they're fairly, they're fairly thick um, but the trouble is you know you ride without the insoles and it's it's quite hard and basic in there it's not particularly comfortable so what I did was I actually cut the insole away in the places where I felt like I was uh, too squeezed up so around the, the my little toe um, around here uh, and then that was the first thing I did. And then that was fine then in this area. And then I was feeling it still a little bit around the sort of fourth toe here. So I cut a bit extra away there. And then on the big toe, a little bit on the left of the big toe. Um, so again, I cut some here and I did the same on the other side identically. And that has actually solved a lot of the issues. And now on long rides, it feels pretty good. So um, yeah, I need to, ride them more and do more long rides but uh, so far that seems that seems good and you know they're very nice high quality shoes they're a teeny bit heavier than the s-works but nothing to worry about okay so let's just do the weigh in the s-works 8 with worn cleats 246 and the s fire 903 without cleats 223 all the bolts, 240, 238, and with the cleat, 255. So yeah, nine, nine, 10 grams heavier, nothing too bad. Um, close enough, but no cigar. I like the fact that uh, you can get in and out of them quite easily because this all comes apart quite easily and so you've got a lot of room to you know get your foot in these these bowers they're the pop pop up ones so when you want to just you know get out you just pop them up like that it's nice and easy and then they uh, dial them in to tighten them 
they're very stiff obviously you know all of the all of these high end high-end shoes are perfectly stiff enough there's nothing nothing to worry about there the heel retention is good just like the s works they've got a fairly high heel so it keeps your heel from moving up and down which is quite important i think and you can tighten them up as, as much as you like you know there's uh, plenty of uh, tightness available if you want to go super tight i tend to not go crazy on this one uh, just as not to compress the toes too much and then tighten this one down a lot more um, so yeah I mean and and my wife actually had the similar sort of issues and she swapped the insoles for her old city ones which are a lot thinner so she's now got a little bit more room in there as well but she's she's happy with these a lot lighter than her entry-level cities that she had by by about 100 grams so a big difference it feels like you know the cities feels like having a lump of concrete on your foot and these are uh, way lighter so she's happy with those i'm happy with these um yeah i've got the uh i've got the mallorca 312 coming up i've got the oat route in the pyrenees coming up in july as well so i need shoes that's they're going to be comfortable for uh you know these long three four five six hour rides um without having to loosen them off because when you do loosen them off to ease the the pain on your toes then the foot can move backwards and forwards and you, they get slammed and all the bumps and that's how i lost my uh my two big toe nails last uh mallorca 312 anyway so it's a lovely day uh it's time to go out for a ride i think just wanted to mention the venting on these shoe, shoes, which is actually quite good. You've got a big intake vent at the front there, and this is supposed to be the exhaust vent at the back, so the, the air flows in and out. And yeah, you've got the perforations on there as well, which help all the all over. And the the insole has venting to obviously allow that air through. So potentially cooler than the S-Works in the summer.